Hey, favored ones. Happy Samhain. Happy Halloween. Happy harvest for all those who celebrate. Come in, come in, take your seats at the round table. In the corner, there's the wishing well if you uh, care to throw in a coin. For all those who are new here, welcome. For all those who are coming back, thank you for the love and support. I appreciate all those who follow, like, and leave comments for me to read through. Uh, it's really heartwarming to know that you resonate with my messages. I know that lately I haven't been consistently posting, and for those who have been patient with me, I truly do appreciate as I am a human like anyone else and I have things that I need to go through and times that I just need to chill and hermit on my own. <clears throat> so, uh, first order of business for anyone who's new in our corner over here in the favored corner. We like to do a thing called Welcoming Utopia, and that's where you take a moment and sit with yourself and think of all the things that would uh, that you would envision to be your uh, utopia. Hold on a second. Whoop, 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 whoop. Excuse me, Harry, you're beautiful, but you're in my face. There we go. Uh, so yeah, uh, your personal utopia, an international utopia, or even on a galactic and dimensional scale, you are welcome to dream as big as you'd like. Utopia has no limits. So for today's topic, I usually do uh, collective energies and what I'm doing with downloads, but today I just wanted to sit and come up here and get messages that your ancestors would like to send through and your guides and honor them during this time. And uh, today's title is going to be Gifts from... Uh, uh, what is it? I'm going to have it something that is going to be beautiful when I do put it in, in the thumbnail. Um, but yeah, it's just family jewels, some sort of play on words for family jewels. Yeah, receiving family jewels, uh, treasure chest of family jewels. And I just wanted to get some messages from your ancestors on what it is that they're bringing through as gifts for you right now. What is your family gifts because everyone always hears about generational curses or cycles that you need to break but what is it that we need to embrace and what is it that they're proud of you for so if we can get any messages on that for anyone who who uh wants to know i'm using the weight rider deck the original tarot deck and you can find those online anywhere. And it has, uh, if any of you would like to bring out your own tarot cards and pull some during this time, I welcome you to do so as well. If anyone is learning and trying to find out on their own and learning, uh, I suggest biddytarot.com. Uh, uh, if you don't have any instruction uh, manuals or guidebooks, because you never know you might have got your tarot deck second hand and it didn't come with a guidebook and you're like where do I look up for proper meanings well that's where you would look um the fact that I zeroed in on that information is giving me the feeling that your ancestors and your guides would like you to know that you are more powerful with your intuition than you um, than you originally gave yourself credit for. They would like you to pick up tarot cards more or pick up runes, uh, scrying, whatever it is that you feel called to as a certain type of divination. Hold on. Ugh. Gorgeous. Hello, my beauties. There we go. My baby hair all over it the kitty's like rubbing their face all over it and then their hair's like rubbing me in the face all over it oh yes um 
your ancestors want you to know to li be listening and keeping an eye out more when your uh, familiars are giving you messages because they may be sending messages through your familiars and it will be obvious and right in front of your face. Um, some of them could be getting up in your face. Uh, you may notice if you start smelling your cat, it may be giving you indications of what you need in your life at that moment. Like, I know there's one person who couldn't figure out what they wanted for dinner and they smelt their cat and it came out as, smelt like a casserole and they're like, I'm making casserole. And uh, I know there was one time that I s kept saying my cat smelled like cinnamon. Um, for those who are watching this around the end of the month in October, uh, is this is a timeless reading and all messages apply whenever it comes to you. It's in divine timing. But for those who are watching this uh, during the end of the month, tomorrow is November 1st. So some of you may do um, manifest money rituals like blowing a cinnamon through your door on... The first of the month so that's what's bringing it to mind but also some of you may be having a high blood pressure because when I did start smelling them it was during a time when I did have high blood pressure this was years ago and I started taking some cinnamon and it really helps so just be mindful that your familiars are your companions and also that they are your ancestors uh, some of them could be your ancestors you could have had a cat that was your ancestor that reincarnated this time to have you take care of them because you didn't want to have any more children or because you couldn't have children and this is the way to heal the bloodline is the way you love them yeah yeah definitely and they're helping you take a new path Oh my goodness, yes. Yes, your intuition is on high, even more so, the high priestess. That, that doesn't mean that you are a high priestess, it just means your intuition is very high. Uh, you could be male, female, or non-binary, uh, gender fluid. It does not matter. Your intuition is at an all-time high, and they would like you to indulge in your gifts more uh now this doesn't mean particularly you have to do a spiritual route for some uh listening to your intuition and your creative uh for some of you your divination uh and the way to practice spirituality isn't through uh spiritual tools that are stereotypical for others it's the fact that you want to publish a book but you haven't yet uh, your your ancestors want you to realize that you are a blessing and that's why that is one of your family jewels is your ability to write and communicate some of you may be a life path number seven um or a very virgo uh what is Vir Virgo heavy placements uh, it could be in one of your top threes it doesn't have to as well you could just have a lot of planets uh, inside of Mercury in your chart as well now that's only for extra confirmation of course if that's not applied to you and the message still resonates then absolutely this message is for you too and you are a wonderful writer and very articulate and a great communicator and not only communicating but understanding and that's what made you be so strong into taking on these uh family family gifts because they wanted to bestow it onto someone who would honor them and you are you're honoring your family jewels there we go baby we got our title victory victory is Try not to give you the middle finger here. Uh, victory is assured. I got a cut on my finger, so trying to hold on to it with my left hand usually. Some of you may be left-handed, and uh, you, yeah, so victory. Some of you may be left-handed or deal with some, uh, <clears throat> and that might be a 
a generational gift as well because at one point we weren't even allowed to be left-handed so the fact that you're left-handed and the fact that you honor that and you use your left hand is breaking a generational cycle as well so just by being yourself i think is the underlining message is that a lot of you don't even recognize that some of your family jewels and what you honor and celebrate every day you may feel like is not much but to your ancestral line that fought tooth and nail and uh, and were shamed you are clearing that shame you are clearing all the rest of that from the slate okay <clears throat> Yeah, some of you are reaching success and it's the first time in your family line that it, this is happening. Some of you are making reefs for your doors. Oh, some of you may make um, the bells that go on front doors. So some of you may be creating bells that go near the front doors that chase away uh, evils and negative energy as you come through the door, it chimes and it clears the energy. Uh, a lot of people uh, also follow that superstition when it comes to motorcycles. So motorcycles could be a big indication or really big part of your life. Uh, some of you, when you hear motorcycles go off, could be confirmation for you as well, especially with horsepower. You have the horsepower to go the distance, long distances, soaring for long times without landing like the eagle. You will be decorated for your passion. So... Uh, merch, a logo, and I don't feel like you're doing it for accolades, and I feel like the people that surround you are equally fruitful and abundant, like the, the five people you know syndrome, or idea, idealism, Swiss stoic, because each one of those branches have fruitfulness each one of those paths are growing so you realize that you're having people who have the same morals and the ideals as you because you would much rather be the least smartest person in the room because you love learning that doesn't intimidate you you're like oh you know things wonderful i was looking for a mentor like you take it um as less of a, um, a slight against your personality and more is a personal challenge to level up. And your ancestors are saying that's a truly a gift for in the past, your family, when it came to challenges, they would rather shift the blame or give up entirely and start on a uh, newer and more um, <clears throat> safety netted approach to things. <clears throat> Some of your gifts is being able to, your, the family jewels that you're being brought is to, Oh, 1404 on the clock, 144. Some of you may resonate with being star seeds or a part of the 144,000 that were, uh, that volunteered to come here. Some of you may be volunteers, not only just star seeds, but being on earth here, some, like not just volunteering to come to earth, but a lot of you could just be humanitarians and do a lot of volunteer work charity work as well with like innocence and that that flower is almost like a gift to be left to behind without even looking at, at it like um how do i describe this like 
you give away something and you're not looking back on it being like, am I going to get anything in return for this? You're like, no, I already have everything I need up here. I don't need any more. Here, here's this. Take it. This is my gift for you. You are willing to give without ever looking back to see if you're receiving for that gesture. Yeah, so one of your family uh, treasures and one of your family gems is the fact that you give without worrying what you'll receive in return. But uh, <clears throat> one of your fam uh, your ancestors want to say that you are a jewel because you balance, you bring balance and justice into all that you do. You make sure that things are balanced between work, play, give, take, rest, and go. Action and then stillness. Day, night, you get the drift, but you also take justice into account. A lot of you could be doing work with the moon. Uh, and Persephone, because it looks like almost pomegranates in the background there. Oh. I get it, I get it, because I was like pomegranates, I was like Persephone, I'm like, okay, seasons. Your uh, ancestors think you are a jewel because of the way that you are able to change throughout the seasons. When you level up, you don't just say, well, I leveled up and that's in you learn and you go into the next season. You are very seasoned. And you're very seasoned with your intuition, but you are also seasoned. You are also good at letting go as um, fall teaches us how to let go with the changing of the seasons and rebirth. They're proud of the way that you let go and you rebirth yourself and how you flip the script how it's like looks like it's flipped over in on itself uh, some of you may like enjoy doing origami or those old little uh, flipping fortune tellers when you're young they love that you are childlike, that you have a childlike wonder, where in your family there had been a generational cycle of having to grow up too fast and taking on responsibilities and being parentified. You are allowing your kid to have a childhood and to be a child you're working with your solar plexus and your life force you're allowing yourself to heal your inner child and you're shielding your child from all that which you went through when you were younger yeah Yeah, instead of you continuing the cycle and making it feel like your your children are walking on eggshells or like they're just one step closer to the edge and they're about to break. Some of you might like uh, Linkin Park. Everything you say to me is one step closer to the edge and I'm about to break. Some of you may use your music 
as a uh, in some main your music music in general as an emotional outlet to sort through your feelings and using it as a therapeutic tool instead of taking those feelings out on other and perpetuating the cycle of hate and making other people feel like they need to walk on eggshells. You were a family jewel because of your ability to of the ability of being long let's try that again shall we you're a family jewel because i see here like as always i point out on their outfit it looks like sand dollars almost i don't know if they look like that to you but to me they remind me of sand dollars i'm picking them up from the beach which is another childlike wonder thing to do. Um, but I collected them to put them on my altar. Some of them are inviting you to make an ancestral altar, uh, write down their names, those who are the highest. Yeah, and remember to write at the top, only those of the highest good may enter because not all your ancestors of the, are of the highest good or are healed. There's the whole point why we're here is because some of them didn't heal. Um, but yes, they are proud of your long ability for longevity to go the distance. They are proud of your longevity. If you don't know what that is, you may look it up. Uh, but that is the symbolism behind sand dollars. Uh, same with orcas as well. So some of you may in resonate to orcas you could have been one in a past life or you really just love the marine life uh water signs uh definitely getting your energies and air signs because the the wind that comes through just the whole coast of course you don't have to i did mention virgo placements already so this is what i got for Wait, Rider deck. I'm going to pull and what wish fulfillment are you bringing my favorite ones for being such a family jewel? Number 33, you could be a life path number six or a life path 33. You could have started a journey around 33 when you were, um, when you started this journey and started being such a family jewel and walking the path. Uh, some of you could be turning 33 when this uh, gift comes through. It's going to be different for all of you since there's a lot of energies I'm pulling from. Uh, a lot of you, um, uh, counting sheep so some of you may be hoping for good night sleep is what you're wishing for and they're bringing you a good dream you're bringing they're bringing you clear dreams so they're clearing away uh karma and trauma and bringing you good dreams because i'm getting that from the 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 lassie dog here counting sheep some of you could be uh, sheep herders or have herder dogs, uh, border collies, uh, huskies. But it says if the dogs come circling around. Yeah, but I feel like it means dreams are coming true is what I'm getting. Because if you're counting sheep, and you're like one sheep, two sheep, and you finally get to sleep. That's a good night. Oh. They're saying the fact that you are being consistent, they're bringing your dream. Your dream, whatever your dream is. What are they bringing you for being such a family jewel? Let's just read it. Let's get after it. Essential meaning, divine protection. So they are bringing you divine protection for being such a jewel. 
a sense of safety despite chaos. They're bringing you loyal people into your life. And they are bringing you a reminder to stay true to your own values. In this moment, in despite in spite of any difficulties, chaos, turbulence, or in in your life, trust that you are protected and divinely directed. Your soul brought you here to experience life on earth, which is messy and mortal, disruptive and unruly. The immortal soul of yours is here. Yes, yes, yes. Your immortal soul of yours is here for an experience, and when things are difficult, it can be harmed. That self is always safe, always connected to source. Oh, it can never be harmed. Why did I say the other thing? Some of you may be worried about whether or not you can be harmed, and your guides are bringing you are clearing away the illusion of fear and disruption. Even when things are difficult, it can never be harmed. The soul. Your soul is safe as your your always connected to source, all of life. Who wrote these things? Every time I go to read it, I'm just saying. Whoever their publisher is. And a wonderful job. I'm not saying that sarcastically. It's probably me reading it. I want you to know that. <laughs> I was connected to source in all life. And hap and is happiest channeling the quickest energy of good. As are most people. It's your choice that will determine your personal experience of your con uh, of your consequences. Jeez, Kim, see where your brain is. Someone's worried about consequences, and I feel like if the universe is conspiring in your favor, no matter which direction you choose, it is going to prepare the safety nets because it doesn't. It wants you to trust. Walk out of here, man. It ain't gonna let you fall. Mm -mm. That's old news. This is a new paradigm. This is a paradigm where we, we we don't drop on a dime. We keep rolling, 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 steamrolling our way through life, okay? Paving our own way, not steamrolling over other people. How will you... It's your choice to determine your personal experiences of your circumstances how will you respond to life now can you be true to your values to your dreams even if everyone else doesn't agree you're surrounded by so many loyal friends and well-wishers who want the best for you do not give your energy to those who would deny you including your own critical voices that tell you you are not good enough because you're more than good enough you are so good enough you can take an extra slice of relaxation <laughs> don't have it what it takes are not perfect etc it's okay you're not for everyone why would you even want to be that so if the dogs come circling around it's time to stay close to those who love and who return that love close to those who believe in you open your heart forgive the others and step into your light and magic you will not be betrayed you are loved and supported that's all that matters now so your ancestors want to let you know that when there's people who are going to be circling around and coming through and trying to break dirt on your name I can't just be all love and light all the time, you know. Some people are just dirty and they just want to see other people hurt because, well, honestly, they just don't like to see other people happy. Sometimes it's not about people hurting people because they're hurt. Sometimes it's just the only way they can get their jibblies off. And honestly, I feel 
I feel bad for them. It's not my responsibility to fix it, but I certainly do feel bad for them. Imagine needing someone else to be entertained. Sad. Okay, what herbal medicine would the collective do well uh, investing in at this time? Well, obviously that one, because it blew friggin' slap shot it out. Um, can we get one more, please? Since that one, for all of the collective, thank you very much. I'm pretty sure the other one was, but I want to get my whole sentence out this time. No, okay, there we go. I got the two that I wanted. Well, not what I want, I'd only wanted one, but I'm doing two. Uh, cause they obviously got a lot to say. Your ancestors say they got a lot to say to you for whenever you welcome them back in. Um, the first one that flew out like a wildfire was the passion flower with surrender. So some of you may, uh, like Billy Talents or those types of bands cause the song Surrender came to my mind. Um, also in the number 43, so you could enjoy Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which also brings back those whales as well. And from the number 43, you are a wild card, uh, which is funny because it did jump out like wildfire and then it was number 43. So which means the asterisk symbol number 43 in coding means it's a wild it means absolutely anything that you wanted to so a lot of you could be into coding uh graphic design uh web design editing well you could yeah work under the full moon with scrying in it as well doing full moon rituals Working with Artemis and the Wise Owl. You are bringing together your wisdom and your passion to blossom and surrender to your creative flow. Is what I'm getting from the images here. Yeah, intuition again. Some of you may be taking blue lotus flower or um, it's really good for you, blue lotus flower, if you look it up. Uh, it's really good for your pineal gland as well as if you want to remember your dreams or if you want your dreams to be less uh, hectic or you want to learn how to lucid dream better. Uh, but yeah, you could be thinking, taking milk thistle as well. So you could be doing, uh, liver cleanses and stuff like that. Just learning to drink more water and cleansing yourself. Yeah. Balancing of day and night. That's not the first time that's come through with that. And the number five big changes, uh, sobriety, learning that um, that taking care of yourself is is utmost important. A lot of you could be learning how to uh, have safer travels when you're drinking because of the uh, fly taking flight here and the water overflowing in the direction of where you uh, where the birds are so some of you could be learning to or, or to, with all the partying going on around uh, Halloween and stuff are making sure that you are getting a designated driver or you are so far in your sobriety that you've decided to be the designated driver this time and only drinking water yeah filling your cup with nutrients is, uh, 
the fact of uh, the moon water, making moon water. So the fact that we are made out of mostly water and water can absorb energies, which is why we do the moon water in the first place. Uh, sorry if you saw my eyes closed. I'm trying to channel and envision it here. Some of you could be clairsentient, where you just get a feeling. Uh, uh, and as well as claircognitive because I'm getting a lot of visuals today instead of songs although I did get that one song from um, Linkin Park and I did get Billy Talents so there is a lot of different clairs going on here different uh, many talents going on a lot of you could be lo unlocking other talents a lot of you could have only just had a clairsentient knowing but now you're getting visions and your ancestors want you to trust that these are from them. Now, if you're getting negative visions, that's usually from ego and um, from a place of fear. And usually your guides and your higher self won't encourage you to do negative things. That's usually your anxiety and uh, an ego working at, at play. So be wary of that. Now, Blue Lotus, number five, intuitively knowing, unearthing the subconscious, meeting the guardians of mystery, dream work, and initiation. So yeah, definitely getting more work on uh, better dreams and and clearing out your nightmares a sacred and mystical blue oh ooh, ooh. this is a the blue lotus is from egypt as well so if any of you may uh resonate with egypt uh the pyramids uh and the pyramids are also connected with orion's belt which is where most of the Syrian star uh, Syrian uh, where star seeds come from Syrian the Syrian star seeds come from whoo words be with me now clear and concise messages for my favored ones please spirit guides guardians ancestors Mercury please come through for those who uh, resonate as Syrian star seeds or Orion star seeds. Uh, you may resonate with this message as well and getting a lot of messages from them in your dreams. So for those who are already astral traveling um, and aware and remembering them and, and lucid dreaming and tra astral traveling, they want to let you know that you are protected if you have had any negative energies they're coming through to clear that out and to do some shower cleansings or cleansing your crystals under the full moon as well uh, and collecting moon water. Um, yeah, if you're noticing any some like stirful and mischievous energies going on lately where you're uh, having accidents, uh, small minor things breaking down like a headlight, a faucet, a handle, something like that. Uh, some of you could be out of water as well. I know that there's one town where I live that's out of water so you may resonate with that. Um, yeah, where you're almost having to conserve your water and like not have that much uh, to an overflow abundance of it. That could be for anyone who's having a dry spell with intimacy as well. That may not resonate for everyone, but that is if that is something that you have been asking your ancestors and guides to uh, come true, I feel like the uh, the floodgates are opening. Um, I don't want to get too intimate on uh, that as I haven't put it down as 18 plus. Although there shouldn't, it shouldn't be too many minors on here. This is 39333. So at the end of a cycle and on your way. The sacred mystical blue lotus. Uh, 
Egyptian as well as Babylonian. And, oof, okay. The sacred and mystical blue lotus regarded as the flower of enlightenment. I just heard the words Andromeda calling. So if anyone uh, resonates with that, Andromeda is calling for you uh, and they'd like you to pick up the line. So for anyone who felt called to meditate lately or to uh, or meet them in the astral, if you don't uh, meditate as easily, I know that a lot of people find it easier to travel during dreams than they do during the daytime. That's perfectly valid. Uh, They'd like you to take a piece of paper and write down, uh, I give her mission and answer the call for Andromeda uh, and see if you can meet with them. <clears throat> Flower and Enlightenment uh, treasure has been recorded in ancient scriptures as an all healing as a referred revert and is revered as an astral flower in mythological creation stories. Blue, Lo Blue Lotus is a water lily known for its powers of euphoria, intuition, rejuvenation, and aphrodisia. I told you the floodgates were coming. I said it. I was like, I don't want to say that out loud. They're like, that's the message. You better be uh, saying it. So... I did. Ooh, set the phasers to stunning. Some of you may like Star Trek. Blue Lotus is associated with the Egyptian sun god Ra, the ruler and the brighter, a br the bringer of light. It was used in religious rites and ceremonies led by shamic priests to induce a trance state so one can commune with, commune with the gods. Uh, it's also used in fu uh, funeral ceremonies after the death of a loved one, as Blue Lotus is said to assist the soul in entering the light. In ancient Mayan, Maya, uh, it's also the ancient Maya also revered the blue lotus and other water li lilies and referred to it in referred to it as the precious water flower. Blue lotus, although revered as a flower, flower of the sun, both embodies the solar and lunar elements, which um recently we just had this past weekend and this month we had not only a lunar eclipse but we had a solar eclipse as well so the eclipsing energy in this and bringing forth all the abundance is just extra confirmation it makes me so tingly it contains a natural antiseptic and relaxant called nephira which means moon along with an aphoric which produces sense of euphoria and bliss the sun this alkaloids among other medical components brings about pain relief stress relief and lucid awareness a bomb chicka bomb 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 Love it when I listen to my intuition. So yeah, the blue lotus is a direct doorway, a mediator in the worlds of the gods. The perfect balance when I like I said with the intuition of the high priestess when I first called it up. Oh what what? I be hyping myself up. If you guys not into that then you should hype yourself up more like I'm never gonna get over being impressed by how cool our intuition and intuitive powers are as a soul inside of a human body 
like when everyone gets confirmation and synchronicities i always go top notch like four 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 on the clock right now so stability huge stability coming through financial and uh material and and health abundance the perfect balance that it bestows upon us assisting us in bridging and refining the divine connection between the heart and the brain Blue Lotus today is assisting you in widening the portals of your intuitive powers, granting you access to the realms of the inner knowledge held within the great mystery. Remember, the Lotus rises from the depths of the muddy waters, untouched and impeccable, to bloom into majestic beauty. Don't allow the muddy waters of the blooming process to suppress your intuition and belief in yourself. Trust the process and believe in mystery. Listen deeply to the guardians of mystery as you unfold from the darkness. Number 43, Passion Flower Surrender. Sacrifice, surrender, choosing growth, trusting discernment, rituals of letting go. I knew it. They love you because you are so good at letting go. Oh, why am I? I was so good. I was good 20 minutes ago. I got this message on lock. Okay. Passion flower. A precious bion... Pontanical native to Central and South Africa was named for the Passion of the Christ, referring to the suffering and death by the Roman Catholic priest in the 1500s. It was also called La Flora de la Santa Lagas, or the Flower of the Five Wounds, referring to the Christ's stigma. The Five Petals, the Five Petals shaped like sepals of this of flower represents the ten apostles who remained faithful to Jesus throughout the Passion. The circle of hair-like rays above the petals represent Jesus' crown of the thorns. Since its introduction into European herbal medicine, the Passion flower has been used as anti-somatic, uh, hypnotic, sedative, and nervous system tonic. The leaf tea became popular in North American medicine in the mid-1800s. For similar use as those in South African traditions, passion flower tranquilities, edges, nerves, and uh, edgy, <laughs> it tranquils edgy nerves and helps with insomnia, mood disorders, headaches, uh, colics, uh, migraines, menstrual cramps, diarrhea, as eye disorders, epilepsy, convulsions, muscle spasms, and pain. So you could be dealing with some of those things right now. And your ancestors want to help soothe those pains. A lot of you may want to look into Lewis Hay. Um, work. Uh, she was believed to uh, cure her cancer through positive affirmations. So you may want to look up. Uh, I know uh, if I remember, I'll put her work down below inside the uh, description box. Sorry, I can't even remember what I was going to call this uh, this video. I'm not sure if I will remember, but if I do, it will be divinely orchestrated. Okay. To this day, the passion flower is used by many shamans in floral baths to calm and cleanse the spirit. It is also considered to bridge to the Christ consciousness, which assists in direct communication with the mythical voice within. It is also used as an incense to alter the energy of spaces where stress, traumatized, or disrupted. Passion flower is ruled by the mighty flowers of Neptune, 
the planet of spiritual realization, spiritual experiences, the spiritual world, and Mayan, the great illusion. And Maya, the great illusion. So some of you may be uh, uh, Piscean as well. Passion flower symbolizes surrender, sacrifice, and the crucifix, uh, crucifixion of the ego. Some of you could have went through an ego death recently, a dark night of the soul, and you're coming out on the other side. Re, uh, oh, wow. Um, I just noticed that I had my Discord up, and one of my friends has the symbol as a lotus flower for their uh, emoji. Passion flower resembles the need to sacrifice in order to make space and move forward. The all-seeing double-headed owl symbolizes the great understanding of perceived, uh, perceived from, the great understanding being perceived from both sides, whether it be upside down or inside out, and bestows, and bestows goddess passion flower with unseen truth as she performs rituals for letting go. Owl is symbolic of discernment and able to light up what needs to be seen. Hash and flower today might be reflecting the need to suspend actions that aren't aligned with your spiritual path. Are there certain decisions or actions that you um, that you must sacrifice in order to assist your direction? Honor your intuition. It's okay if projects or original ideas come to an unexpected halt. Discernment is key to experiencing greater truth and opportunities. So yeah, if you feel called to do a uh, cord cutting, um, they're giving me the image of cutting you know like red ribbons of cords with a bunch of people and you're like cutting these cords and you're using the thread to make uh, a cross stitched like texture version of a heart uh, I don't know if you can get that imagery coming to your head but um, that's what they're showing me here uh, so a lot of you could be doing some cord cutting right now uh, as well as uh, ritual burning. So, you know, uh, in the 90s, uh, girls used to do it a lot where it was like burn stuff that um, it was a, called a boyfriend burning, where you would take all the stuff that they gave to you and just throw it in a bonfire. Obviously not their stuff. That's horrible breakup um, version. Uh, but where you just like take like love notes and like letters and like stuff and like release that energy so you could be writing notes and letters to someone being like you did this to me and I didn't like it and you know that you may never get an apology from them or be even the fact that they may have passed away and you may not get the chance to tell them at all so um but yeah just writing that out and then writing it on fire and releasing it or you could take it and write it on a piece of paper, a toilet paper and flush it. I just feel like uh, releasing energy is needing to be done. Uh, showering and sprinkling uh, salt on your crown. You can do a bath if you certainly like to do a, a deeper clean, but shower will do if you don't have a bathtub. Um, if you don't have water right now at all, most definitely uh, just do a pot simmer burn a lot of people do that around this time anyway where you could take some cinnamon some ginger uh sticks and orange peels and stuff like that and put it on the uh stove and just let it simmer and uh aromatherapy uh, cleanse your house uh you could meet, uh, do a saging as well um where you could take a bunch of cleansing sticks and go around your house and do a smoke cleanse. Uh, you're welcome to do any kind of cleanse. You could do sound bowls. Uh, your ancestors are just very much indicating cleanse, 
cleanse and cleanse. Uh, this could be your eating habits as well. If I know there's a lot of candy around and it's really tempting. So uh, just make sure that you're taking care of your tummy. And uh, that's everything I have for you this year. So thank you for continuing to be a family jewel and doing yourself and others around you proud. So I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. And I appreciate all your likes, comments, and subscribes. I know I said it before, but I know I lost a couple over that time of meeting break. And I just wanted to really uh, emphasize on how much I appreciate all of you and your patience. So yeah, remember to eat, hydrate, and have fun. Bye!